Hello, Narda here. Welcome back to Grim Dawn. Last episode, we found our bridge blocked and we had to take a detour. And we found some other people on nearby at the portal. So let's uh, let's have a look what those people want. Ooh, there's uh, bloody corpses here. There's uh, some wagons that have fallen over. More stuff on the side. There's a crude wall here. This looks like a bunch of refugees. I can't. I can't do this. This is all too much. Oh no. Let's see. Let's keep the quest person for last. Let's see. Where did it all go wrong? One minute I'm making the trade deal of my life. The next I'm stuck out in the middle of the woods, surviving on scraps. We've all suffered, man. <laughs> I don't think you understand the scope of the situation. I was going to move to the estates. The estates! Yeah. Some people, they really think their problem is the biggest problem in the world. <laughs> I think it's meat. Okay, so let's have a talk with uh, Duncan. Hello, traveler. If you find yourself going about these parts, uh, I was wondering if you'd help us locate someone. I'm a bit tied up with Fortier. So, uh, who disappeared? What's his master, Engram? He left camp earlier today. He's intent on finding a group of survivors that he considers worthy of our smithing talents. Don't exactly see it eye to eye on the matter of who we should be helping. Engram wants to field an army and take the fight to the Ethereals. He and Duncan would rather save as many lives as he can, whether they can fight or not. He wants to help these people, but without his master's hammer, the sacred Malium men here, he won't be able won't be able to make anything worth a damn. Well, we could use that guy in uh, Devil's Crossing. So, what's special is about this uh, about this hammer? It's an ancient forging hammer passed down through generations of blacksmiths. Uh, but okay, so Duncan wants his hammer. Okay. Let's see, the master is an expert, that's sure, but it's good. But he's reluctant to experiment with arcane stuff. And Duncan is more open to magic. Okay. And Duncan wants to help everybody while Angrim only wants to help the soldiers. Okay, so, uh, let's see, look through, well, we'll uh, have a look, look for Mr. Engram, bound to be somewhere nearby. Let's see, Grobals, Snake Clan Scavengers, so I suppose these are uh, goblins, of course, every game needs goblins. I think there was a sniper over here. Yeah, big guns. This uh, spawn looks pretty well armored. Snake clan warrior. That implies there's more types of goblins. Nice thing about goblins is there's always more goblins or rebels, and that seems to be consistent across games. <laughs> okay, so how are we? Oh, okay, this is just a, a pocket. It's it's all clear now. So we don't really have a lot of clues, so uh, let's just clear the side of the road for now. 
take a slow and steady approach to this. Oh, yellow item. Spiders. And that was a, a level up. Let's see how close are we to the Hellhound. Let's see. Two more points. Let's see the health restore. Yeah, let's uh, let's boost the Raven's heal for a bit. Resummon the pets. Walking Dead and mosquitoes. They don't like each other very much, which is also a good thing. Every little bit of enmity between factions is something that will work in our favor. Ragnits, that's yet another faction. I like what they've done here. It's probably that the, the Arachnids don't like the insectoids. Because spiders eat bugs. And the, the undeads and the those alien bug things, they also don't like each other very much. Remains. Yep, that end. Another camp with more stuff. Metal strong box. Oh, that was a new ring, I think. Let's have a look. Who is it? What does it do? Energy regen and defensive ability. Okay, not very interesting. Okay, uh, we're looking at a new landscape type. This looks like burnt farms. I think indoor. Oh, there's uh, some barrels that might be useful for looting. Sniper. So it becomes, oh hey, we can actually, okay, we can't do much against the guy because the wall is blocking. That's good, we can use that. So especially with uh, the briar patch that we can put down, this is a nice poisonous field that also slows their movement. So you can create choke points. That's, uh, like for example in this doorway. Let's see, there's uh, an entrance through here. Just to make sure we have covered everything. Okay, that's uh, it's mostly cleared, so we can just double back, cross the road, and clear the other side. I think this is one of the. We can actually. Clear this, saw that on the minimap that there was a passage. So Grim Dawn definitely has a more open world feel than Titan Quest had. Titan Quest felt uh, very much like it was on the rails. The, the generally you had a, a road and then you had little bits of, of space around it. But it was always very clear where you had to go. There was not a lot of options in navigation. And if you look at the at the map, okay, you know, we come from, from the south, you can go up and there's these big areas with some connecting things in between. But you have a lot more uh, space to roam around than there was in Titan Quest. And I definitely appreciate this. You do have more of an ideal that you're just roaming about. Not 100% not sure where to go, so you just explore and you find stuff and it's fun. And in the end, fun is the only thing that matters. Okay. A bunch of 
Archer, well, gunners, not even archers, they're gunners. And there's a, a tale of two blacksmiths. Angrim is up here somewhere. as well now. Some arachnids. Luckily we have a whole arsenal of skills to unleash on the enemy. Let's see if we clear out this bit. And we have this area nicely covered. Oh, a spider. Multiple spiders and some other things. So beasts and arachnids don't seem to have much of an issue with each other. And in the end they all have an issue with me, so... They still have a problem. And there's a, a path that snakes up. And a path that snakes to the side here. Hello, Mr. Angrim. Let's see, greetings strangers, I hope you're out here fighting the good fight. So, what's your story mister? Ah, same as you I suppose, seeking my purpose in our fight to save Cairn. Cairn? Cairn? Cairn, let's go with Cairn. The Black Legion is out there still and they could surely use a blacksmith. Let's see, the Black Legion? Black Legion? Death's Bannerman? Surely you've heard of the Imperium's elite. Or were you living under a rock before the Grim Dawn? So why are you looking for the mister? Well, I've heard solid rumors that some of the Legion escaped the chaos that broke out in the capital. I intend to seek them out and aid them in the fight against the invaders. Oh, okay, that's uh, good for you, but I'm uh, looking for your, your hammer here. So, uh, so what do I want to know about it? <laughs> well, Duncan wants to help the, the refugees, so uh, please give it. He's talented, he's a talented boy, that one. The way he weaves magical properties into his craft astounds even me sometimes. I prefer a finely honed blade and a solid shield to that nonsense though. Duncan was my finest apprentice, but he still needs to learn some priorities. Those people he's trying to help can't even help themselves. Our knowledge is a rare gift. We cannot squander it on those that refuse to fight for Karn. Ah, uh, that's a point. Well, if all you have is a bunch of tree-hugging hippies and the zombie apocalypse breaks out, those tree-hugging so uh, hippies will need someone to protect them. Okay, so I've got a group in Devil's Crossing. You could join us. Devil's Crossing, eh? You certainly do seem like the capable sort. If the rest of your group is anything like you, well, humanity just might stand a chance. Very well, I will be your armorer. Together we will strike back against the invaders and retake Cairn for humanity. Okay, so we uh, side with the master. Because, I don't know, I like him. And it's his hammer, not gonna steal his hammer. That would be evil. So, we send him to town. And then, actually have a, let's actually have a look. What does Mr. Car Mr. Engram offer us? He's probably inside. Yep, he set up shop over here. So that's a uh, quest completed. So he can build relics. You need a bunch of things for that. A searing ember, polished emerald, and a chipped claw. It combined with a tainted brain matter. So we need to find a powerful ethereal for that. And then we get a calamity. Oh, that's probably for this one. It's a relic, yes. So that adds a bunch of damage, stats, and it grants a skill. Cool. So those are empowered, then you got a transcendent, we don't know the right. Okay, so there's three ones and you probably have to find the recipes for the other ones. So, uh, let's see. You can turn scrap into enchanted weapons. 
owned longsword. That's a one-handed. Brutal great axe. We need a chipped claw for that. I don't think we have one. We have uh, serrated spikes, but we don't have a chipped claw. And then we get something that's a pretty good upgrade, I suppose. Well, it's level 15, so that's uh, we'll have to wait for that for a bit. And it's the same, I suppose, for the armor and belts. Shields. Okay, so you can make green stuff for those and not for the other ones yet. And you can make ribbons, badges. I just need more stuff for that. Necklaces you can just make, but well, those will be just uh, uh, random things. And he can combine ether crystals into shards. I supposedly we need the shards for something. Hey, he can also make components. He can turn uh, ether crystal into And the shield steel into uh, a cold stone. Oh wow, these are like second tier crafting things. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the blacksmith definitely useful. Let's uh, let's go back to the, to the portal and tell the the apprentice that we did not go through with helping him see if he. Does anything? Hello there. Uh, I don't blame you for your decision. Angrim is a fine blacksmith, the finest around, to be sure. I do what I can for these people with what I got. Okay, farewell. Okay, so that's uh, a side quest for you. We didn't need to do it, but because we did it, we now have a blacksmith in town. So that's uh, that's nice. Let's see, Burbage Road. That's uh, just looking for the, the lost caravans. Yeah, that's probably just uh, this here. Okay, so we just uh, follow the road north. That seems like a, a decent way to, way to go. Let's see, that's. Uh, yep, uh, we're on the road again. Uh, that's a bit unexplored. Let's. Uh, that we might find the caravans that we're looking for that were lost. And there is a cave here. That's uh Whoop. there's a bunch of stuff going on here. A bunch of zombies. Rotting soldiers, that's good. We needed to kill a bunch of those. Here, rotting zombie, zombie, zombie. There's a fury in there. That's all, uh, all white items. A rich. More walking dead. There's a uh, Asgalog. Reanimator, let's take out the reanimator. If there are a bunch of thing, nasty things around here, then at least make sure they don't get reanimated. Seems like there's still a whole bunch of spellcasters around. But this is the first time the the Briar Thorns tank is actually properly tested. And he seems to be holding out. On the other hand, this is uh, a whole bunch of level 16 things. Ether crystals. So the Raven is also running low on mana. That uh, has issues with the uh, heal. Ah, there's an Overseer over there. It seems like uh, the next tier. Those eye things. Fever crystal cluster. Okay. Ah, oh, 
was a that was a nice fight. A blueprint, guardsman's breastplate. It's epic, and this is part of a set actually. Plus two to all skills in soldier. Okay, I'm not quite a soldier, but that should not uh, should not matter. We picked up a crystal over here. Let's see what else is in here. This is a nice dungeon to do. Or a cave. The burial cave. There's another wagon of corpses. There's uh, an exit over there. Oh, another crystal cluster thing. We didn't level up. No, we didn't. Okay. Is that a... So there's an exit over there. Is this a, a dead end or is there another tunnel over here? Oh, no, this is a dead end. Well, uh, of course. Okay, let's see where the exit takes us. Of course there's more on that here. There's always more on that here. And something is shooting us at us from upstairs. Let's see. Yeah, it's this way around. Burning that. Walking that. Uh, Fury. Plague walkers. Do we kill enough? Ah, we already killed enough of the of the zombies that we needed to kill. So we can actually go back to Harmond and get our next kill quest. Something here. Oh, the gold one. It keeps freezing the the briar thorn thing. Yeah, briar thorn. Okay, okay. Uh, this is a nice dead end. Let's do a full explore. All the nooks and crannies of this little bit of area. And this takes us to the next bit. But I think this uh, this episode has been uh, long enough. So let's go back to town. Let's have a, a chat with Mr. Harmond. Yo. There's a fire in your eyes and blood in your clothes. I see that you've done your share of the killing. Tell me, how did it feel? So, let's see. I felt vindicated. Righteous. Or I didn't feel much of anything. I just like killing zombies. Or regret. These people once lived. On the other hand, they're out to kill you. Uh, let's go with uh, Righteous, that's probably what he wants to hear. Yeah, that's what he wants to hear. I mean, ah, he's got a bum leg, that's why he can't go out and kill him. So, so we got some uh, 800 iron bits, uh, we got a bit of scrap, we got some extra experience. Let's see, so now we killed scores of the Shamlin dead, and then we can do better, so we need to kill some more uh, Eater Corruptions. Warped Mutants Slain. Flesh Warped Mutants even. Okay. Let's see, this is a two-handed weapon that does a lot more damage, so that's a, that's a win. That's a blueprint. We probably need to uh, hand that to the blacksmith. And chilled steel. We have another second bit over there. Okay, so if we equip this one, that's going to boost our damage output by quite a bit. We no longer have access to the poison bomb skill. 
On the other hand, we have another mutagenic icker over here. So let's see all the different boosts we could be applying to our weapon. Let's see this one. Searing Ember. It adds fire damage. Gives us a fire blast skill. We have a serrated spike which grants a piercing aura. Let's empower the attacks of both myself and all allies. That's actually in line with what I'm doing, being a, an aura monster. So let's uh, let's apply that one. And we can uh, see, equip the, the piercing aura, reserve some more mana, and then we just take our uh, swarm thing, devouring swarm. Let's take it back, clear this one. And that's uh, let's see. I'll stash it with this one until we can extract it. Let's see how we what we can do with the blueprint. Does it actually say? Right click to learn. Oh, cool. And that uh, was a bit of armor. And then we have it here: the guardsman's breastplate. We need 15 pieces of scrap. We need resilient plating. And we need molten skin in order to make it. So that's a, that's a whole bunch of things. Okay. Well, that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. The blacksmith is definitely, or the forge master even, is definitely a, a good addition to the town. So. Uh, yeah, next episode we'll see if we can actually make it further into the town or if we get distracted by yet more useful side quests. So until then, have fun and I'll see you later. Bye bye.